Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I was distracted. Simple little things in this world. Some technical difficulties today. The adversaries have been attacking on our FPU class yes. and uh, on this as well. Hopefully, uh, I think Orlando might be watching. Hopefully, you watch and you see if we're um, able to be heard today. You hear it this time. Yeah, we'll find out. Um, but once again, we are here. Um, just conversations with the cats is with our special guest, our co host, uh, Judy Katz, financial coach with uh, Ramsey, Dave Ramsey, um, preferred coach. Uh, we talk about budgeting, and uh, it was a great monologue we had before. I'm going to take that down. But it was funny. No one could hear it, though. Um, talking about uh, our dog who was going who was going kind of crazy with her new toy. Um, yeah. And uh, how she was going she didn't get her runs in the last couple of days, so she's kind of long for sound. Yeah. And dog, anyone who has a dog knows that your uh, dog toys are expensive. expensive. So we use free toys, yeah. which is good. My last comment was deleted. You didn't hear it. Yeah. Nobody heard it. So that's and that's good because that was inappropriate. It yeah. was definitely not Christian. Yeah. One of the first or second, <laughs> the second or third commandments is "Thou shalt not steal." <laughs> Apparently, that was a bad idea to say that. Um. So anyway, um. So we, basically, the toy that we created was his old um tank top was falling apart at the seams. And so we just kind of tied it off into knots at each end. And she absolutely, and then tied, tied one in the middle and two on each end. And she absolutely loves that toy. Because she, we originally put her ball in there because her ball was starting to fall apart. So we, because she kind of chewed it up. So we threw it in the, the shirt and then tied it up into a knot. So she thinks there's something in those, in the knots now. Yeah, and she just shakes around and hits herself in the head. Yep. Which is kind of cool to watch, but yeah. she just plays with that. It's pretty simple. And then she tries to undo the knot so she can see what's inside the inside them. Now she's looking at us because we're talking about her. Yeah, she knows what we're talking about. Her. She's but, smart. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we're here to talk about um, no budgeting because everyone hates budgeting. I know I'm not a fan of telling my money where to go. I'd rather, have my, I'd rather tell my money where to go than it tell me where to go, so to speak. So what are the basics of a, of a budget? Well, basically, um, with doing a lot of FBA classes and just talking with people, a lot of people are like, I could do so much better than my money if I knew how to budget. So I know that budgeting was a cool, it was a um, necessary thing. So I have a top of Excel sheet, income one, two, three, four. So we got paid weekly and I have extra check for income. And then I have four walls. And this is like when you get in a pinch. You do your four walls, which is your mortgage or rent, your utilities. Um, if you have cable and internet, groceries, gas. Um, like cable and internet for us was a necessity because he needs internet for his work at home job. And ministry. And ministry. So that was a necessity. Sometimes if you don't use it for anything like that, you could cut it if you had to. But um, groceries, gas, car gas, car payments, car repairs, water, cell phones, or phone, or phone or phones. Um, I have miscellaneous, but in a pinch, we cut that out. That I use miscellaneous for like, um, like toilet paper, laundry soap, um, things like that. That falls in the miscellaneous budget. And then a closed health care and prescriptions. And then transportation is where I put the vehicle loans and repairs, and your repairs. Um, that's for like, if you have a loan or repairs, like ours, just I just put repairs. But, um, emergency fund, um, which if Father Ramsey program is a thousand dollars to start with, that's maybe step one. And then you list your debts lowest, lowest to um, lowest, lowest to, highest. to highest, but balances, not payments. Balances exactly, because your, your minimum payment on some credit cards are fifteen. Higher, 
or fifteen dollars. Yeah. And but your your balance is you know, three thousand. You have I had one where it said minimum payment, fifteen dollars, balance three thousand. Yeah, but, that, that and then a, but then they had, had a balance of 500 but the balance, minimum payment was 50. so it's based on what yeah. your actual balance is mm -hmm. not what your payment mm -hmm. amount is yeah so um i think that month is the balance i came up a little bit so um but we took care of that that's that was lots of way mm -hmm. like the dirt off the hood of my truck we scissors out and go frank, frank. Uh, i wouldn't have a truck yeah. Cut, that, that, cut that up. Plastectomy. Yeah, plastectomy. Plastectomy. Cut the okay. plastic. Cut the plastic. So, and then, so basically, you do your budget, your minimum budget, and then you pay minimums on everything except your lowest debt. And then you take and pay that. Anything extra pays that off. And then you go, once that's done, you take that payment plus your next payment. And anything extra and you put that by the time you get to like your car payment hopefully you're paying five six seven eight hundred dollars additional to that to that car payment um and then pretty before you know it you're you're out of debt um they said the average is 18 to 24 months for most people um i think jade Warshaw, which is a Ramsey personality, they had four hundred sixty-nine thousand dollars in debt, and it said they took them seven years. Yeah, have. it's like half a million dollars. <laughs> so some of them are longer, depending on where you're at yeah. and what your income in, in stuff is. <clears throat> but um, anyway, so what I've always told people is. Your bare minimum is what you need to keep yourself safe, which is a home or rent apartment. Um, recommend if you're if you're not already in a home, don't get into one until you're debt free. Keep renting. Um, it's not throwing good money after bad because the nice thing about renting is you have your rent, and that's what it is for the remainder of that lease. Versus if you own a mortgage, like our mortgage just went from 488 to 592 because <laughs> when they did the escrow, they screwed up and didn't budget enough to come out. So now we're paying catch up for the last year. So um, if you can't afford it to go up that high, I would recommend that you not <laughs> get into a house until you're debt free. Um, so then, but like I said, and then your basic utilities, your groceries, your gas, of course, toilet paper, laundry soap, etc. Um, and any car payments, anything that's any debt that is not that that is a non secure debt, obviously, you need to pay your secure debt. That would be your if you have a house, that would be your house payment. And because your house is your collateral, if you don't pay it, they take it. Same with your car, you don't pay it, they take it. Um, so, you know, to try to do that, I know that in 2014, we were $1,000 a month upside down every month. Um, and we just, we couldn't get right side up to save our lives. Had I known then what I know now, I could have probably avoided a lot of that. Um, but it, it's a last ditch effort to um, because well, I hesitate to put it out, out there because I don't want someone to do it and then find themselves in a mess. So I'm going to put it out there. This is a caveat. This is a warning. If you, if you follow this next part, you will wind up in a mess. So just a heads up. But if you're that far upside down, you can pay your for pay your secure debt, which is your like house, cars, etc. Your your basically your utilities and what you need to live in, live on. Okay. And then um, take everything extra and throw it at your lowest debt. And then you do that. 
the next one to the next debt. Now, mind you, the, re the, the rest of those debts, if you're not paying the minimum payments, they're going to go into collections. You're going to get extra fees. You're going to get all that other stuff. Okay. Um, but if we would have, I mean, after the, after we paid everything with ours, we would have had $1,000 left after we paid just the bare minimums, not, not any of the non-secure debt, just the secure debt and our four walls and our, our, our vehicle payments and gas. We paid all that, we would have had $1,000 left. We could knock those debts right off it there and gotten ourselves right side up had I known that we could do that. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to get those things paid, the minimums paid on everything, just so we, wouldn't, we could stop the phone calls and harassment and all that. I mean, justifiably, they were harassing us because we didn't pay. I mean, justifiably so, I'm not making excuses and saying, but I, I think we were getting 30, 40 phone calls a day because um, mm -hmm. we owed, we had a lot of debt. Um, and had I known then what I know now, I would have paid that lump sum payment, that thousand dollars a month extra, not extra, but the we had by not paying all the miscellaneous secure debt monthly, we could have taken that thousand for on the, the lowest one, which I think was like forty eight dollars. We could have knocked off probably five or six debts with that one payment. Mm -hmm. Um instead of getting nickeled and dimed by the, all the other ones. Um, it will tank your credit, not going to lie. Our tank credit was already tanked, so we didn't have a lot to lose. Now, um, we, now we have a, what Dave calls, I love debt score. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, I told Jason, I go, I like the really low debt score. Nobody wants to send Because nobody wants it. Nobody can get anything. No one can take anything. No one even wants it. I kind of like that low score. I like the non-existent score because then you can't get nothing at all. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of excited that we're, we're hitting the top of the mountain with the high credit score, which is cool for things. But I'm waiting for it to start dropping. Yeah, because we have mean, no open credit. We, we, won't have any debt. We, we won't have any debt. We don't have any debt. You don't have a credit score. You don't have a credit score. They ain't paying cash. Once our mortgage is paid, we won't have a, we won't have a credit score anymore. Yeah. It's a dropping and dropping and dropping will be down to zero or whatever. Low, you know. I'm okay with that. I can pay you cash. <laughs> cash still works. Yeah. Most places. Most now. places. <laughs> for now. Yeah. Who knows what's in the future? Yeah, we won't talk about that. That's a, that's a whole other show. <laughs> that's called Revelations. <laughs> yeah. Not going to say anything. <laughs> Anyways. We'll leave that alone. Moving on. Back yes. to the debt and snowball. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going with so that. basically, if you find out that you're, if you figure, find that you're over your head, one, keep track for one week, maybe even two, and keep track of where your money's going. Keep track of everything you spend and kind of what it was like, whether it was for food, eating out, gas, transportation, you know, whatever. However you want to do it. You got to do it how it works for you. And find out where things went. And then multiply that by four. And that's about what your living expenses are. But if you, and you can see where like a lot of home bucket was. Like back before 2014 when we lost everything, we had a huge hole in our bucket. Mm -hmm. It was in the bottom of the bucket. As soon as everything went in, it was out. <laughs> By Sunday we had nothing left. I'm like, where did it all go? Sunday. <laughs> got paid on yeah, got paid on Friday, but Friday afternoon was gone. Yeah. So <laughs> now we've learned that we have to do certain things in cash because otherwise we'll spend too much. And um, the prime example was when I went to Aldi event it was a couple weeks ago and I went with forty dollars. That's what I had was forty bucks. And I had stuff was forty three. Mm -hmm. I had to put things back. So I have forty dollars. Bought that with thirty-eight, I think. Yeah. Something like that. So I was like, I got like a dollar. But otherwise, if I had a debit card or credit card, I would just paid it. Not even yeah, thought about it. Been over budget. We've been over budget. And then it hurts. The month, it, we would have been like, where did I go? Yeah, and we do that four or five times. You no, know, four times a month at five or six dollars each. Let's um, face it; it's probably gonna be more like twenty bucks. Yeah, and that was just 
uh, so I was trying to stay close, but prices, you know, are negotiating and going up and trying to figure out what price is what. But yeah, if you spend 10 or $15 extra a week times four, that's $50, $60 right there. Mm-hmm. And that $60 is, could be a tank of gas, could be, mm-hmm. you know, groceries for the week, partial groceries for the week. Mm-hmm. You know, a light bill, phone bill, another bill, 60 bucks. I mean, you know, over a year, mm-hmm. almost a thousand bucks just disappeared. So mm-hmm. keeping tight to that, some people are embarrassed if they have to return things. Mm-hmm. I, I don't care. Or like our debit card, we don't have enough in there. They, they say, well, it'll be declined. Well, decline it. It means I don't have it there. Oh, yeah. Once you've been uh, in a, in a store oh. and your credit card's declined and you you've gone and your house has been foreclosed on you've been evicted and you've had yeah. a car repossessed yeah you don't have much pride left yeah my car was declined okay whatever it's like okay well i gotta put this back and they kind of everybody kind of looks at you funny like what you're gonna put what just like nope it's not in the budget yeah. i do feel kind of bad when we have a budget with our income and somebody offers to pay for it it's like no and I, I kind of, somebody did offer to pay for something for me once. And I said, I appreciate that. I said, but I'm trying to get to a point where I'm, I'm staying, sticking to a budget. Mm-hmm. I said, we have the money to be able to pay for it. I just need to have the diligence to, to not spend it and to stay on a budget. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, okay. Thanks. Well, that's a great idea. We should try that. <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Cause you gotta exercise those muscles. Don't get me wrong. The first, <laughs> it hurts. The, the first six months, I was like, I want it. <laughs> but do you need it? Yes. I slept outside. Let me no. put it. Let me put it to you this way. When I first started, I needed a lot of things. Then I learned that there's a difference between needs and wants. <laughs> I want needed everything I wanted. <laughs> That's not how that works. That's not how that <laughs> works. So now I've learned that I might want it, but I'll need it. <laughs> Is it food to survive? Yeah. Do I need it. toothpaste? Yep. Do I need toilet paper? Yep. Do I need paper towels or dish soap? Yep. Do I need laundry soap? Yep. Dish soap. Why? Wash the dog with the, the plate clean. She, no, like, she, now no, no one's gonna come eat at her uh, house. <laughs> nobody comes anyways. <laughs> you didn't know you're getting a comedy show too, did you? Yeah, that's how I am. Yeah. Oh, speaking of comedy show, this is completely off budget. And off topic too. Yeah, because uh, we were. I don't know. For those of you that live in the north versus the south, us northerners would say there's a, it's a mess. To us, that means it's a mess. It's messy. It's um cluttered and or you spilled something oh you're a mess you, you're, yeah. you're not in your right mind you, you're, you're, you're you're disorganized and to me to, to us that's a mess like lioness and on, on, on peanuts yeah probably better. Yeah. yeah but i guess in the south means that it's you're funny so the first time goes and mess and i'm like where do i need to get a broom in my mouth and they're like what <laughs> You're a mess. And that means you're funny. And they're like, they said, one of the, that was a friend of mine, she goes, you're a mess. And I'm like, what? What's that mean? <laughs> I kind of agree with you, but so it's from the Northern Bridge and she laughs because, no, it means you're funny. And I'm like, that's what that means? <laughs> no idea. No idea whatsoever. Yeah, we're Northern folk. Yeah. But. It's, it's the difference in the different slang mm-hmm. <laughs> slang terms that was kind of funny yeah. when i had to learn what those things meant i kind of looked at people funny <laughs> yeah, like, so, yeah can i interject here real quick once, yeah. once again just a reminder that uh this is a conversation with the cats is here with uh judy cats financial coach preferred coach with dave ramsey um Definitely something to look into. And we do host FPU classes. Mm-hmm. Um, right now we have one set up, but it started last week. So we're on Monday nights with that. Um, but she does um, one-on-one coaching or when we set up our next one. Um, send us a message. We do get you set up for our next uh, 
FTU class. Mm -hmm. um, but as I said, she also does one on one coachings as well. And the, the first one is complimentary. Mm -hmm. The first yeah. one's not the first coach, not yeah. first FPU class. No. But, um, we kind of go over some stuff with the National Doors. FPU is completely separate from me. I yeah. just am, just I just run it. it. I, I just do the class. Yeah. But uh, like complimentary, I mean, it, you know, um, it may hurt. Complimentary mm -hmm. as we think, you know, it may hurt. She may not be as complimentary as we think. Because you might feel you might feel that hurts a little bit when you find out that you have more month than money. Yeah. Yeah, more month than money. <laughs> but most people I've worked with, with the exception of one person, they actually have. They find more money than. They find significantly more money in their budget than what they realize they have. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so. It's definitely something to look into. As I said, we started 2011, and we started doing. I, I dragged her kicking and screaming. An FPU class at a church. Oddly enough, a church when I was still an atheist at the time. Um, but I went to a church and money. And we, uh, <laughs> well, and I looked at him and I, he says, Well, I said, What's he going to show us? How to save money. How are we going to learn? He goes, How to save money. I go, I can tell you how to save money. I can tell you how to save $100. Don't take the class. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but there's but big, yeah. there's a big but here, and that is, I learned a lot. Now, as we rebuilt and built ourselves back up from our financial mistakes, I will assure you that the one thing that that taught me was to stay out of any further debt. Not to take on more debt, how to do things with cash, how to, to, to budget for those when car insurance came due, because that's what always killed us, the six-month stuff. Mm -hmm. um, one thing also I want to mention, if you're doing car insurance, check your bills. Because what I've noticed is a lot of times they're charging you a convenience fee of anywhere from three dollars to fifteen dollars a month for for monthly payments. So you could be paying significantly more on your insurance than if you just decided to put the money away separate. Mm -hmm. um, so just be careful on that. Um, we got charged three dollars originally a month. When we did monthly and then we did it twice a year we got up to twice a year and we started getting charged three dollars for that one one bill yeah. every six months so instead of getting charged 18 we got charged three yeah 50 cents a month at that point yeah but um it's ridiculous to get charged that um so i would recommend um, checking that out and making sure you're not getting overcharged for those. Um, now we're almost our bus is on the other one. We're on the one we're going to get. Is the bus on the other now? Yeah. I just paid it for the year. Okay. okay. Um, so the other one we're going to try to get on yearly, but we got to save up a little bit for that. So, um, it's just about it. It's a good way to save 30 to Sixty, seventy-five dollars a month, a year, well, not a month, but a year. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So, so basically, the the best way to do this plan, I want to reiterate and go through, is your income, your four walls, which is what you need to live in, utilities, um, phone for emergencies, uh, clothes, prescriptions you might have. And if you have a car loan, you need to pay that, plus your, your gas and tags and all that, insurance and all that. Um, a thousand dollar emergency fund is your first goal to reach, and this is a thousand dollars. And then list your debts lowest to highest. And if possible, pay the minimums on everything, okay? Even if you're close, Drop down food temporarily. If you have a two hundred dollar credit card bill, it's like twenty five bucks a month, and you're like twenty five dollars a month over on your budget. Take twenty five dollars from your food budget, or you know, from groceries, or twelve fifty from groceries and twelve fifty from gas. Probably I'm not going to notice it split or, over those few little budgets. Or if you get um, that that uh, daily coffee or something that's a yeah. At the gas station or yeah. No. Basically Dave Ramsey says scorched earth. You you don't eat out anywhere unless 
And we did, and we didn't for the longest time didn't eat out. There was one point in time where when we finally when our income went from sixty thousand down to sixteen one six thousand, we got one meal from Taco Bell, a five dollar box. And split it. And split it. That was our eating out for the week. And that was in our grocery budget. We mm-hmm. put that in our grocery budget. Um, now we do the same five dollars. We do it. We put in our grocery budget for Sam's Club. Yeah. Two hot dog special. Yeah. Two hot dog combos. So you get two hot dogs and two drinks, drinks. And then condiments are free. Yeah. And the compliments are two. And then you get a slice of pizza, which they cut in half. So it's two slices of pizza, essentially. Mm-hmm. Split that. $5.07. It's in our grocery budget. Yeah. Yeah. Lunch. Whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, there's ways if you're going to eat That's how you eat out tea. <laughs> if, is it healthy? No. But is it? No. It, it, it saves us from going anywhere. No. You go to grocery shop and spend a day at the store. You get all that stuff. You don't want to go home and cook. But if you get something to eat. It's been five dollars and take it out of the grocery budget. It's a lot cheaper than going out somewhere else. Yep. So just include it in there. Just know you're spending it. But then if you need to cut somewhere, you can cut that out somewhere if needed for five bucks for this or five bucks for that. And that's twenty dollars a month right there. Mm-hmm. Well, that makes me feel bad now. That's twenty dollars. We could just spend that somewhere else. We could have gotten the cheese. We could have gotten the cheese. <laughs> There's a story behind that. So we buy the big bulk cheese and we separate it into smaller Quart size bags for our homemade for pizzas. our homemade pizzas and stuff. And so we we're gonna get two bags, but we I thought they were down. I thought they're like ten dollars, nine dollars, ten dollars or not. They're like eight, seventeen to eighteen. So I'm like, well, we're not getting that this week. So one bag of cheese. Next week we'll buy another bag of cheese. Yeah. So let's we'll save enough big. <laughs> yeah. So here's here's a little bit how shopping goes for us this last week was and it wasn't bad it really wasn't bad is i looked in i like the chicken patties you can throw them in a little fast heat them up and when you're in a hurry you can eat so what i did was that they were like 5.97 so i had two things of peanut butter which were going to be eight dollars so i got rid of the two things of peanut butter for the one for the chicken patties probably not my best move guys because you get seven chicken patties and you get two huge containers of peanut butter for um for close to the same price. Um but I'm so tired of peanut butter. Let's just put it there. Put it out there. Um what do you want? Not peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> um so I needed something different. Take a break from peanut butter for a little bit. Um but when we decided not to get the second, we couldn't get the second cheese that freed up a little bit extra. So we got the peanut butter instead, as well as the chicken patties. And we still wound up $7 under budget. So, which, which we'll is add, cool. We'll add to next week's. Yep. So then we'll put next week's the other bag of cheese. <laughs> but we, yeah, we make our homemade pizzas. It's not really pizzas. I mean, it's pizza sauce, cheese. Tortilla shells. Tortilla shells and stuff. But... Cost wise, they're inexpensive and you know, yeah. overall healthier. Not as much preservatives. Yeah, there's not as much preservatives, but wouldn't necessarily stay healthy. Well, I mean, it's high fiber tortilla shell. Anytime we use pepperoni, it's not. Well, the pepperoni kind of kills, but well, that's not healthy, but it, yeah. I'm trying to say low carb too, so it's better than mm-hmm. the high carb <laughs> stuff. Yeah. So, well, it's baby steps. Like, baby steps, like, yep. Maybe step one. Don't eat pepperoni. Take, yeah. well, we gotta eat well, what I what I'm actually doing, maybe step one for me is cutting out some soda. sugar. Soda and sugar. Mm-hmm. We haven't we didn't buy soda this week and that saved us ten bucks. Ten, fifteen dollars right there. And eventually we're gonna go off get stop getting bait, the energy drinks too, because those are those are a budget killer. Yeah, that's like twenty dollars a week, thirty dollars a week. No. Oh. 10 cans, 10, 10 cans a week. There's two 20, of us. 80 yeah, it's like 20, 20, yeah, 20, 20, 20, 25 bucks. So we're going to switch it over to coffee. <clears throat> yep. This is slightly cheaper. We have a curry. So yeah. Well, it is cheaper. We have free down the hall. 
Our uh, com- apartment complex has a uh, Starbucks. A uh, correct thing. So especially yeah. around coffee, you get for free per se with their our high with our rent. Yeah. <laughs> so it's free, but we're paying for it in rent. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. I mean, I'm cool with that. I just gotta stroll down to the uh, end of the hall. End of the hall. But she suggests that I have to like not wear my pajamas out to the end of the hall. You can wear your pajamas. You just have to put on pants. It's gonna put on pants in Orlando. I am. Shout out to Orlando. <laughs> just so you know, I am wearing pants here and now, even though we're on this podcast. Even when I go out in the hallways, I wear I, I do wear pants. You'll be proud of me. You taught me well on lots of things to wear pants. Yeah. Anyways, shout out to Orlando. <laughs> He puts, like, oh he, he puts up with us for all the time. We appreciate him. We love him. Um, so if he wants to join in, if you want to join in, feel free to join in. You know where, you know where we're at. Um, not just our show. But anyways, shout out to Orlando. Back to, okay. back to Judy. Yep. So anyway, I can't say a whole lot about budgeting except for what I've already said. Okay. Um, Do it. Well, yeah, basically, <laughs> if at all possible, pay minimums on everything and then throw everything extra at your debt. Chase them off your, you know, if you find out your food that you um, wind up coming back every week with like $20 when you're being diligent with it, take that $20 every week, take that 80 and throw it at your lowest debt to pay it off, you know, and then you take that payment. Plus anything extra in the next payment, you throw that at the next bill. Um, you just keep doing that. If you can pick up a second job, that's even better, you know, that kind of stuff. If somebody winds up losing a job, what you can do is um, uh, if you and you have child care, somebody can stay home with the child, you know what I mean? That kind of stuff. So save some money there in child care. Yeah, there's lots of ways to, to there's uh, lots of ways to to do sell. I mean, I don't know about anybody else. We're pretty good about not buying a lot of extra stuff. We've had quite a bit of stuff given to us. Um, which if it's given to us, ladies and gentlemen, we don't sell it. We give it we give it to someone else if we no longer need it. Well, uh, yeah, we like, forward it to other people. Yeah, like this what yesterday was it yesterday we put that no, it was Sunday. Yes, it was or Saturday. Saturday. We had um we had gotten Penny while we still had Man- Manny. We had gotten another set of dog dishes and stuff from the shelter for free. So um we probably got the other bowl, figure out what the two bowls were, but that was a lifted um, thing. For a large dog. Large dog. And uh so we got that and we just said we don't need it anymore. We we have one dog, we don't need four bowls. Yeah. Um, and she can't use that one. It's too high. It's too tall for her. So we, we put it out. The complex where it has it where there's little benches out in the middle of the aisle in the hallway. And you put them out there. That's kind of a freebie location. And then there's a Facebook page for it saying, hey, you know, free on whatever, second floor. So we put it out there. One of our friends came you know, he's on fifth floor. has a, a boxer that just got injured and that hurt. And he can't reach the floor. So he needs a raised food dish. And so you know that for free. You can't sell it to him, but no, it, it, but it's always a blessing. The timing was perfect. He just had it this weekend. He needed this, you know, this, you know, this weekend, and he got it. Now he's got a free, a free bowl, or a bowl for him. So, I did think about selling it, yeah. and then God, God went, slapped you in the hand. Oh no, he spoke. He spoke quietly and politely in my spirit and said, "You got that for free." What are you doing selling so, it? You got it for free. You mm-hmm. pass that that blessing along to someone else. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. We didn't buy that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't want to pay for the the other side of that. Um, I don't know if I ever told anyone the story about when the loan came due for our event. I thought I had two months left. And Jason informed me a month ahead that next month we had to cover it. And I was like, oh, boy. So not trusting God for our finances, I took our tithing money and paid for that no. for that that loan. Well, let me tell you. Monday, the tires fell off. 
Blessing. One tire. One tire fell off. Blessing. The Lord's little tire wheels fell off. Literally. Tuesday, something happened to our other band, the Quake band. Wednesday, something else went wrong on the ble- on the on Blessing. And Thursday, something else uh, went wrong on the the Quake, Quake van. van. And now, mind you, it was just like two hundred dollars and some change that was the payment. And our bills for those car repairs was two thousand dollars. So don't tell me that God doesn't take His money seriously. Mm-hmm. So and it doesn't cost you. So when people say, you, you know, you can cut down tithing, and I'm like, mm, no, 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 I can't. I cannot, and will not. <laughs> this is kind of back to last week. So how do you take how do you take care of God's currency, both people yeah. and money? Yeah. How do you treat that? How do you know? He, he take the more he the better you are with it, the more he trusts that you have it. Yeah. That he or that he could trust that you're gonna handle it properly. And, and I would be very remiss if I didn't say that when our finances finally started turning around was when I, we started tithing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's not give God, oh, I, I need $5,000, I'm going to give God a 1000 No, that's not what he's saying. Oh, He says, you know, I did that. I did that once. I was like, I gave $300 and da da every week. And, you know, but my income wasn't, my gross wasn't, um, 13 or wasn't Mm -hmm. $12,000. Um, and I said, well, I gave this and he goes, and God said, if you gave it out of your own arrogance, I didn't ask for that. And I was like, Ooh, so, you know, it's one of those things that I was using money as a tool to manipulate and kind of try to manipulate God. And that's not what it's used for either. It's not a gift that you get. But on the other side of it, too, you know, he asked for that 10%. You trust him for your income. You trust him for your finances. You trust him with your finances. You know, when you, there's a point in time I had a quarter left in my in my checkbook. And it, my coworker said, wow, we're sorry you have a quarter. I said, you don't understand. This is the first time in four years I've had enough to pay my bills anymore. And I have a quarter to left. And they're like, oh, so I was always 2200 to well a thousand at one point but after we lost everything you know um and stuff like that we still were 20 bucks short every month mm-hmm. we had to float this bill until we this check came in and then we could pay that and you know but there was always a lot of financial fancy footwork to get things to where we didn't have to pay late fees and things got paid and you know mm-hmm. but if you Added up what went out and what came in, we were always roughly up to twenty dollars short. Some yeah. months it was eight dollars, some months it was nineteen seventy nine. Yeah, you know. We floated a lot of payments. We call floating checks, and if you've been broke, you understand the floating payments. Floating the payment, but hoping it falls on Thursday, then your payment, your your, your check comes in on Wednesday or right, whatever. Yeah. So you get so it's like it's not gonna go out to this time, so you float it, hoping that you know. And yep. sometimes that check comes in early, or payment comes out early. Like, oh, but really, it's like how to be appreciative of what you do have. Like <clears throat> we have it where we literally we'll find a, a penny or a nickel, and like, we got a nickel. Thank you, Lord, and we're excited about getting the nickel. Mm-hmm. I found eleven cents today. Found eleven cents. Appreciative of the eleven cents. Like it's just a diamond and penny, whatever. Hey, he blessed zero to 11 cents. And I have to mention this today. Because this happened just today. Well, we found out about it just today. Go, sister. So we had bought our bus. And the state of Illinois says that they valued our $9,500 bus at $35,000. And I'm like, who's buying that? Well, so they said we need to get, you know, XYZ. So we sent in XYZ. And they said, well, we, now we need a cent for, taxes. Like, for tax purposes. Because they were going to charge us $1,687. In addition. In addition. It's 84 or 87 somewhere in there and change. Um, in extra taxes. 
or they're and if we don't get the stuff they're gonna send us to collections i'm like i already sent all this stuff in so i'm like okay so we contacted the seller he was gracious enough to send us the bill of sale again a second time because we uh, forced us to send in our only copy so sent in the bill of sale again and he goes i can't believe you guys are dealing with this still hope this works and he was gracious enough to mail it out and send it to us which we were great grateful for shout out to chris yeah and then so we wound up getting a collection notice from for which now that 1687 dollar bill has turned into 21 2100 and some odd dollars yeah with penalties interest and three hundred and some dollar collection fee so i thought you know what i know it's not right and i know that it it wasn't right for them to do that but by the time the case gets heard and it gets goes through and if we lose the case it's going to cost us like seven or eight grand it's or more it's just not going to be worth it so i thought told them just just pay it just go on and pay it well he went and called the collection company today and they said they took that off at the end of february they can't they goes that that's been canceled that's how she worded it that yeah. was canceled on february 27th that's right that that has been canceled it's, it's finished Oh, yeah. and she didn't mean that in in a in a religious way, a faithful way, you know. But I'm like, the debt has has been paid. He took care of it. He cleared it. So I'm like, well, I'm just gonna pay it. We'll figure it out. So we don't have to pay more. Well, and I figured that we would wind up having to take them to court to get our, you know, to get it to stop mm -hmm. and get our money back. But and thank you, Lord, for for clearing that because we were like, well, we'll just pay it because we made it. You know, we didn't make that. We didn't make that purchase of that price. No. But it wouldn't, you know, it's just one of those things that just gets in my, gets in, gets under my skin. Because it's like, if you think it's 35000 then you pay us $35,000, we will pay you the taxes, and we'll go take that money and buy a different vehicle. Mm -hmm. You know, I just don't understand how they can just make up a number and without even seeing the vehicle. Yeah. I mean. It's, it's the state. We'll leave that, we'll leave that at that. <laughs> so it, I have this thing about letting people take advantage of me and need to learn to pick my battles better because <laughs> that battle almost cost me an extra $500. <laughs> Not my wisest battle to try to fit, fight. <laughs> um, but anyway, shout out to Jesus on that one. Shout out to God on that one, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Making it happen, we didn't make it could happen. Was actually wrong? brought me to tears because I thought, man, of all times when I don't have, when I'm between assignments, the money's running, running tight. I have to pay that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know how was that, that was going to happen. Well, I knew how that was going to happen. I just didn't know how rent was going to happen in a month and a half. So. But, yeah. So, um, yeah. Oh. Okay. I try to cut you short. Oh, just right. Short and only four foot. Sitting in the chair. Well, well, the other chair is a five foot nine. Yeah, I know. Okay. Anyways, um, <laughs> once again, this is a conversation with the cats. If you haven't figured it out, where the cats is. Still can't figure it out. She's Judy. I'm Captain J. It's even that way on the screen. I had to make sure that was right. Um, we're here on Quake RYC Praise News where music is therapy. Um, shout out to her brother, uh, Orlando Presents. AKA Orlando Page, AKA Joe. You know, you know, this is also Diane. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. Um, but just a heads up, so just so you guys know, um, on April 1st, yes, that's April, April Fool's Day, and this ain't no joke. We're doing a 12 hour marathon, telethon, video thon, interview a thon, yeah. a fundraiser for us because we are 501c3 to raise some funds. Um, to help uh, provide us for our equipment that we need to do these shows, uh, keep the station running, to do our outreach events that we're doing. Um, we have two extreme tour um, events coming right now that we're working with. Um, we have one covered. We just need help getting the other one covered. July, yeah, July 29th and 30th. I believe there are dates in Galesburg, Illinois. It's going to be at Humanist Park. It's the 30th, actually, that Sunday. 
And the other one we're working on here is in Gastonia, North Carolina. Um, that's going to be on the 22nd and 23rd. Technically, the 23rd is the day that the event is. Once again, that's a Sunday. Um, that one we're working on to get um, some financing for um, for the venue, which is a couple hundred dollars to rent the venue, um, and then some expenses to help cover for the um, meals and housing and such. Uh, not housing. Their 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 ask that they have their their um, offers they ask for for the tour. Um, some money on it to help cover some of those expenses for those traveling um, musicianaries. Um, it's first John three five through eight. No, third John one five. Through eight. Third John. I don't know. Third John. There's only one chapter in Third John, so it's five through eight. It's also about paying for the um, traveling musicianaries or teachers. Teachers. Was the same musicianaries in the Bible? That would be cool. Um, <laughs> and unfortunately, doesn't say that. But um, so we're looking for some. Doing that, we have interviews lined up. Um, we're about halfway full. We just started this foot a week ago, working mm -hmm. on getting some people lined up. Um, we have some great people lined up that have jumped on board with us to uh, do some interviews. Um, starting at like we started at 11 a.m. and we'll be here live on YouTube and uh, at least one Facebook page. I'm not sure which. And that's Eastern time, so it's that Eastern would be time. 10 a.m. Central. And, and, super, and super early on the West Coast. I don't even know. They're three hours behind us, I found out. Well, one of the artists we have coming up on here. Eight o'clock. Yeah, he's like, he goes, as early as you can. And I said, no, we had like, I think I have set up for one o'clock or whatnot. He's like, or three o'clock. He's like, that's like noon my time. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're starting at 11. That's eight o'clock out there. <laughs> that's a little early in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, but we have, so we have about four people signed up. We're doing every hour on the top of the hour. Um, an interview of, of sorts with um, the artist. Just a quick 15, 10 or 15 minute interview with them. Um, if you're an artist watching this and want to join in, um, drop us a message here on our YouTube, our Facebook, to our Orlando message, me a message, call us, text us, Morse code, smoke signal, let us know. Um, then we're going to do like 15 minutes where you can have your new video. If you have a new, new track out, um, we could play that track itself. You can play the uh, video if you have a video um, we're trying to help build the, the, the kingdom that way by supporting other ministries as well um, so we're doing that at the top of the hour starting at noon until 10 and then we end the show at 11 o'clock we may go longer I'm not guaranteeing anything I'm, after 12 hours we're probably gonna be done mm -hmm. but hey if the Lord speaks and we keep going well someone's gonna be caught <laughs> we got espresso we got espresso <laughs> We'll go down and get the Starbucks. Um, so we got that going. So that's on April 1st, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Um, ain't no joke. April Fool's Day. Um, we're looking to do a little fundraising, help build the kingdom, and um, show support to our other um, artists and musicianaries and um, all those that are out there to help build that kingdom that way. Um, so that's April 1st. Anything else going on? Our information, I will do work on it. Sometime this week, I plan on working on updating some info on that on our Facebook, uh, our website, which I haven't been on updated recently. So I got to work on that. Um, it's quakeradio.com. That's K W A K E radio.com. Um, so you can find information there. And we are 501c3, so the donate button is located on there as well. You we're, like a, we're working on getting a QR, um, code. QR code. Yep, we should have that probably by the end of this week. Um, one of our, um, our, 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 I can't remember the term he used. Leader. Is a, leader. Is yeah. He's, he said help. He's going to work with us on that, getting that taken care of. Um, so I have a QR code. You can scan it and take it right to our uh, to the donation page. I'll uh, do it right over your phone. Technology is just great. Um, so we'll have that. Once we get that made, um, it'll be on our Facebook page, we'll have on our YouTube page. And we have in our videos, and I don't know if we can do that. We can figure out how to do that. Um, so we got that. So we got some big things coming. We also want to use the, the, some of the, the, the donations is to help bring Orlando out to our, our events. We have these events here, like in, in Galesburg or in North Carolina, or wherever we have our events this coming year, because we, we don't know where we're headed next. Mm -hmm. And we will have events in other cities when we go to those other cities. 
And we want to make sure we'll be able to get Orlando to you know, fly out and you know and run the show. Mm-hmm. It's what he does what he does best. Um, so we want to be able to get that out there to get him out here as well for those things. Um, there's also help with our bus to get from city to city. Um, we call it our blessing bus because um, in time because we don't have it quite yet. Just to be able to have it where we go out and give out food and clothing and um, basic necessities at, at places, toiletries, uh, blessing bags, as some call it. But we won't be able to do that as well. Um, and then while we can do that, also administer to folks as well. So all that kind of stuff, all that stuff takes some money, um, but um, nothing is expected. Anything is appreciated with a donation, so we can get that out there. And if you can't. For some reason do it do do something along those lines um because like i said in 2014 we want to be able to do that by all means just pray pray for god to give us provision pray for us for people to hear that need to hear and share you know, be yeah. able to help and share it on facebook share our posts do what you can um do what you can afford to do i most certainly don't want you know Negate things. We want anyone that can help to help. Let's just leave it at that. And, and, and prayer is important. We yes. do know that God listens. We can attest to that. Brother Orlando can attest to that. Mm-hmm. I mean, he will listen and he will respond instantaneously sometimes. Sometimes it, it may not, you may, it may take a little bit. We know he listens. Prayer, like, oh, I'm praying for you. Yeah, whatever. No, oh, prayer works. Prayer, prayer works. So, Prayer is, is just as acceptable as, as monetary donation because we know that he, he will sow that, you know, you sow that seed and he will make that seed mm-hmm. grow even if it's in prayer because he will hear it. Mm-hmm. Um, so we do appreciate prayers as well. Um, even if we don't know that you did it, that's fine too. God knows. Yep. Um, it, even if you want to help with, if someone's interested in helping on the team, um, like I was mentioned on previous episodes, um, having somebody to do like, um, a video um, sports show. If you want to do a sports show for new sports news, something like that. We can do that. If somebody wants to help out with programming for us, we can do that. If you have a show that you want us to air, we can do that. Um, like, like, um, I'll get it. I'll get it out. I can't remember it. DJ Iceberg, Iceberg 365 with um, our Quick RYC Praise News and, um, and that. Uh, um, Amanda, I mean, she's been with us for a couple of years on that, or with him on that for a couple of years. You know, she does her show. You know, we want we with that devout Jamcast. You know, a variety of different ways we could help with us mm-hmm. and build that that network, build that community. Mm-hmm. Um, so definitely looking into that. Um, according to Orlando, I don't know if you saw the note there. No. Judy's doing the whole twelve hours. No, I'm not. So, <laughs> We got this figured out. Thank you, Orlando, for that. I'm glad somebody said it and it wasn't me. So, um, so you are safe in, in, your, in your miles away from us because I got I to gotta go sleep with one eye open tonight. But I didn't say it. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, if, it, it's going to be a really quiet telethon if I'm doing it. Like, got anything? Nope. Nope. How about now? Nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah, she's good with the nope. That was, you know, she's got out of the nope stage. Fine. Fine. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you want to end this? Nope. Yep. <laughs> so um, we look forward to doing this. Um, we're going to try to do this every Monday, um, typically around 8 o'clock. That's our time schedule for now. Things are changing in the future, so we may have to rearrange our schedule based on um, where God leads us to our next town. So our schedule may change. Depends on um, responsibilities for work and such. Um, but so far, we, we may have just record it ahead of time and then put it out on there at a later date. So, but yeah, and I would like people to pray that um, I can find a job within the next couple, next few weeks um, that I get the assignment that's needed um, to help us get a footing and that we can help even help support the station still. And provide some of the extra, extra finances as well. That day, because um, we've been fronting it up up to this point in time, 
um, with this extra. Well, we've all, all had, I mean, Orlando's been. Well, yeah. You know, we, yeah. we, as in the team, uh, the team here, um, Click ROIC, Praise News, has been covering those costs. We're looking to help build what we have. Yeah. And if we have actually, you know, some extra. And as we in. travel, we can we can do that because the income's higher and stuff like that. We can put that money away. Because, like I said, he he said before, and not quoting directly, but I'm what I'm a financial what? Financial coach. Well, I'm a financial coach, but financial guru. Guru. I didn't know was sure if he said guru or not. Yeah, I said guru. <laughs> I use other words, but that's more. Of it. <laughs> so I've been able to to take care of things and you know make sure that the money's there, but. Yeah, I mean, I said, um, we, yeah, we, uh, little, uh, the short part of the testimony is that 2014, about this time, 2014, it was about a week out from now, end of March, I was peeing in the frozen toilet. So I was in a place that was not safe, not heated, didn't have, you know, didn't have heat. I mean, it had electricity. That's about it. You know, five years later, in December of 19, I, you know, we purchased the home. You know, all by it following some of these guidelines on how to spend and how to save and all that. You know, so there's there it it, it may not be overnight and that's 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 key. But but it, it just doing the budget and sticking with it, you're exercising those muscles that mm-hmm. probably haven't been exercised yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Excuse and it, it's well worth well worth the investment. You start but you do start seeing change instantly. Mm-hmm. When you when they hit our friends that have we've started working with um, they found six hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars. No. Um, but no, you know, people have found significant money left in their budgets. Yeah. Um, well, we found seven hundred dollars. Yeah, we found seven hundred dollars yeah. in our own budget. Because once my income went up, I got a little fluffy with groceries and a little fluffy with gas and a little fluffy with. But a lot of that was to save up enough for our next travel trip to the next place. So we had that set aside and ready to go before we ever left. Um, but um, saving that, pulling that extra fluff out was like $700 a month. I was like, I about fell out of my chair. Um, so I was like, man, you know how much I that be in five months? <laughs> <laughs> That almost like that's almost like a whole month's worth of budget. Yeah. Um. So, anyway, um. When you go through your budget, sometimes you can find out like where your leak is. Like our first leak was, um, we were eating out a lot. I think we added up it was like four or five hundred dollars a month in the eating out. Mm-hmm. Um. Then the next leak, that was before we lost everything. Our second leak was, and then whatever extra I was shopping with. So um, that was before I lost, we lost 80% of our income, by the way. Um, then we had, um, then the leak was um, eating out in groceries um gas was none of the other stuff was really a problem because i i i just i got to the point where i ran the other way from shopping for stuff um i spend maybe 75 dollars a year on clothes if that um i had to spend a little bit my first year when we got into Galesburg, because I literally didn't have any clothes to fit. And a lot of what I had got left because I had so much. We couldn't take it all. So I was running out of clothes. <laughs> or they had a bunch of holes in them or whatever. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I think I spent that year, I spent $150 on clothes. But each year I spend, I think, 50 to 60 75 at the most. Sometimes they'll have like $150 for $100 or $200 for $100. It's like Mm -hmm. 50% off. And so then it might be more like $125 with taxes and shipping and Mm -hmm. stuff. So I do that about one. 
or once every couple of years. Yeah. But, Anything else? Nope. Nope. I'm just babbling right now. Just babbling. Because <laughs> I'm tired. Babble, babble, babble. <laughs> Didn't sleep very good. Land of babble, yeah. So, do uh, you want to have a sound in prayer? Um, sure. Okay. So, once again, this is Quake Our Way Praise News. Uh, this is a show Conversations with the Catses with the, uh, two the cats here, financial coach, a Ramsey preferred coach. Um, so you can find all our information on quakeradio.com. Our donation button and such is there for five, our 501c3 501 donation there. Um, once again, nothing's expected, it's appreciated. Uh, shout out to Amanda, uh, DJ Ice for 365, Devout Jamcast, Orlando Presents. Yeah, everything else on Play Car YC Praise News. And tell it to Judy for doing two things tonight within two hours. Yeah. But for you, class, and then this, we appreciate it. I don't like being on camera, so. Yeah. That's I I've been on camera twice. Well, I, I had to turn my camera off before because it turned green and went, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What did it, that, it wasn't looking well with the video on there. <laughs> and so. it took someone's mirror in their picture and put it above my head, so I'm not sure what was going uh. on. So, on that note, um, go ahead and pray us out. We'll head um, it out for the night. Okay, dear Holy Father, please be with everyone here. You know their needs. You know their their, their needs and, and wants. Um, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, please be with everybody as they go through this week. Keep them safe. Keep them under your veil of protection, Lord Jesus. You know what's coming down the line more than you ever do, Lord Jesus. That's why we have a... Uh, I can't remember the name anyway. Sorry. I was trying to make a joke. Um, so anyway, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your blessings, Lord Jesus. And I for, I thank you for all those things that you have protected me from, Lord Jesus, um, that I didn't even know about, Lord Jesus. Sometimes, I don't know, sometimes, Lord, we forget to thank you for those things that we cannot see that you're taking care of before they ever happen, Lord Jesus, and keeping us safe. Lord Jesus, thank you for loving us in our beautiful messes, Lord Jesus. And as we navigate through and, and we change to follow you, Lord Jesus, and we become your disciples in your hands of you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.